have the airwaves. Wacky of the orange coat. We made it to Friday. It's October 16th, 2020. We made it to the end of the week and I want to wish you a beautiful weekend from now. It's a beautiful day. You'll see the video, it's a little longer. Again, because it's been just beautiful. You'll see two new dogs. Frankie, five months old, hilarious. And our, and Brew, Brew is again in the picture. Okay, so now the sun is gone. My painting, I told you I cannot stop painting Chris and uh, Kiki because they're so happy in these pictures from their vacation in um, at the Black Sea. Okay, today quickly, we're gonna talk about the importance of community for your health and longevity. It's been proven that loneliness kills more people than smoking cigarettes. 20 years ago, they proved it. People who are lonely are much, are, are much more at risk of dying a young, a young death than, than from smoking. What does it say? No wonder the biggest punishment a human being can impose or let's say the justice system can impose on a, on a human being is solitary confinement. I read an article that prisoners prefer to be together with rapists and killers than by themselves. Why? Because isolation is deadly. It's fatal. I belong to my fellowship and of course, I mean, uh, it is only proven that a fate in a higher power, in something that's bigger than you, is taking so much of your stress to live in 21st century. The difference between religion and spirituality is huge. Religio in Latin means bond. This is a very personal pact. It's a very personal agreement you sign with your God. That's why we have so many different gods. But spirit, among other things, such as booze, means the act of being filled with air. So if you're willing to share this with other human beings, this is uh, what means that you're spiritual. You don't want to kill them. You don't want to take the air out of their lungs, right? You want to share the air with them. This is our spirituality. <sighs> Remember that the half being full is, is my half, sorry, is my cup half full or half empty? So this is how we, we uh, walk through life. Okay, I learned in my program that my cup is half full with water, half full with air and they're both vital. We need both water and air. Beautiful. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow is Saturday.